This next module will cover a few more important morphing techniques. Beyond drawing with the Apple Pencil, you can also import images into the canvas. There are two ways that this can be done in app, either by accessing the photo library over here, or by using our built-in search engine. Let me use the photo library to access my camera roll and select this photograph that I took here. Now that this is imported into the canvas, let's go over the morph menu. This slider here in the morph menu is the intensity slider. Dragging through the percentages, you can see that each section of the spectrum describes a different level of how much the morph will resemble your original image. The lowest end of the slider will only very slightly edit your image, whereas the highest end will completely reimagine what you've drawn. Generally, for a basic morph, keeping the slider around 50% will result in a dramatic change that still retains the original composition and intent. Let's see what that looks like, though, by morphing my image of 50%. I have this Oasis style applied already, so I won't even need a text-based prompt. These are some examples of applying a 50% style to my morph. When I increase the intensity, the change should be a little more drastic. It's important to note that when you tap generate, whatever is currently on the canvas is what gets morphed. This allows you to iterate towards something more polished by feeding prior outputs back in as inputs. Let's test this out by applying a very low morph intensity to this image that we've already generated. As you can see, these results are very similar to our last generated output, with only slight differences applied. All of your generated images for a project will be visible by tapping here, which will open up this box of your morph history. As a reminder, every image you generate in WAND is private and visible only to you. However, all of your previously generated images are accessible to you at any time. Simply return to the home page and click Library. You can scroll through every single iteration that you've produced in WANT. To return to editing an old image, simply tap on it, and it will open up in a new canvas. You can also export your images to your photo library or to other apps by pressing Share here. And all of your images will save as high-quality PNG files.